screen yes sir so in the last lecture what we have done can you tell me indefinite article very good what is indefinite articles which, which is that a or n is an indefinite articles okay so okay we, we have seen a or n indefinite articles okay and before that we have seen the sound okay which is known as diphthong sound okay so which is known as so diphthong sound we have seen uh, where it is Sound sound is that sure sound. Okay, we have seen sure sound, right? Then sure mm -hmm. sound, then theta, then the sure sound. Okay, right. So in the sound sound, we will see the more. Okay, the more sound is there. Okay, so the sound is that. Sure sound. Okay, so we don't have uh, the symbol in on on the keyboard. So we'll download from some other website. So let's see. So we'll open some new tab. On that new tab, we'll open some new tab. On that. B type phonetic symbols, okay? Symbols. So we have seen this is the phonetic symbols in the first link. Then we sure sound, okay? So sure is represented like sure sure. Let me see like this. Okay, sure sir. This is the sure sir. Okay, so we'll represent it, it like that. Only. So, for example, sh, she, sh, ship, sh, fish, sh, fish, sh, machine. Okay, simple sound is there. Sh, machine. Sh, fish, sh, she, sh, fish, sh, machine. So, this is the sh sound. Okay, sh. This is the sh sound. In the ship, this is the sure sound, and this is also a sure sound ch coming together. Okay, so this is what the sure sound simple sound. So, yes, sh, she, sh, ship, sh, fish, sh, machine, sh, she, sh, ship, sh, fish, sh, machine. Can you repeat the sound? Sh, she, sh, ship, sh, fish, sh, machine. Very good. Repeat once again three times. You have to repeat. Shashi, shashi, shafish, shamashin. Shashi, shashi, shafish, shamashin. Machine, very good. Okay, very good, very nice. So next sound is there, which is z sound, z. Okay. So z sound will represent. So. We have the sound. Let me check the j symbol like that. This is the j. Okay, j sound. So 
this is the Greek symbols. Okay. So we represent it sound. For example, your vision, your pleasure, pleasure, your beach. Okay, your beach. So this is what your beach, your pleasure. You have to underline this, your vision. Okay, this, your vision. This. Okay. And underline this. I'm not able to un underline it. Let me check if it is possible. <laughs> Next, yes, we can underline. So, your vision like that, your pleasure. Your pleasure, like that, you have to underline your beach. You have to underline understood. Yes, in that she, shashi, you have to underline shashi, you have to underline. Just to remember, this is very basic, okay, and basic is very important, okay. So like that, you have to understand. So let's, can you repeat this sound, this two sound? Okay, repeat. Javision, Javision, Javision sound, okay. Your vision, your pleasure, your vision. Your beach. Okay? Yeah. Your vision, your pleasure, your beach. Very good, very nice. Great. Okay, let's see the next sound. Next sound is there. Ing <coughs> sound is there, okay? Ing sound. So, we represent ing sound like this. Let me see the symbol for that. Let me bring the symbol for ing sound. Something like that in sound that we have. Okay, so this is this is the in sound. For example, do not underline. Sing, in sing, in bring. In sing, in ring, in swing, in swing. Okay, so this is a very simple sound. ING, it's coming with the ING. Okay, so it will be bring, in sing, in ring. You have to underline the sound. To underline the sound. Okay, so this is what this is the sound. Ing sound, okay. Ing sing, ing bring, ing swing. Ing sing, ing bring, ing swing. Can you repeat the sound? Ing sing, ing bring, ing swing. Repeat once again. Ing sing, ing bring, ing swing. Okay. Repeat once again. Ing sing, ing bring, ing swing. Okay, very good. Next sound is the ja sound. Uh, next sound is the ya sound, okay. 
for example yeah yeah yes okay yeah yes yeah yellow yeah yellow okay yeah you yeah yellow yeah bye okay so here is yes yeah sound okay so you have to underline this yeah yes yeah you yeah yellow yeah bye yeah sound is there okay simple sound yeah yes yeah you yeah yellow yeah yes yeah you yeah yellow understood this simple very simple so can you repeat this yeah yes yeah yeah you yeah yellow yeah bye okay yeah yes yeah you yeah yellow yeah bye okay so this is what this is our diphthong sound okay so we have finished our diphthong sound okay tomorrow lecture we will see we will see uh, you can say uh, phonetic sound which is vowel sound okay <clears throat> we will see vowel sound okay okay yeah so next <clears throat> we have seen so next we will see the rule okay or simple rules uh, pronunciation rules okay very simple rule so which is known as let's see which is known as a rule okay A rules. A simple rule is there. Okay. I'll write it down first, then I'll explain. Okay, I'll write it down first, then I'll explain. Okay. So a simple rule is there. Whenever, whenever A coming with L, okay, double L okay and w sound will be o sound will be o for example let's see for example for example also so this is what this is pronunciation rule okay pronunciation rules okay so here what first rule is there whenever a rule is there whenever l double l or w coming together sound will be o how for example also do we say also no do we say also hello hasan kya hum also bolte hai also bolte hai kya bolte hai also bolte hai hum log nahi hum log kya bolenge also, also. also. अभी तक हम लोग आल्सो बोलते हैं बट आल्सो नहीं है वो ओल्सो है क्या है ओल्सो ओल्सो सेम द नेक्स्ट लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल ऑल राइट ओके टू यू से आल राइट नो फॉर एग्जांपल ऑलवेज डू यू से ऑलवेज नो वी डोंट So you have to remember this is what whenever because al coming together here okay we'll underline this here al coming together we'll underline this al coming together sound will be o sound will be o oh. remember okay similarly similarly all for example all we don't say all we say all all okay we say all we say all all we say all we say ball because we say wall we say tall 
tall okay tall tall okay so this is what al coming together okay here double l coming together sound will be oh. l coming together double l coming together with with a sound will be o oh. okay al coming with coming with a double l coming with a okay sound will be o oh. sound will be o oh. simple so simple. so the what will be the pronunciation can you repeat can you repeat from this also all right always oh yes correct so it will become what <clears throat> it will become like this it will become like this let's see it will become like this also all right always okay can you repeat this also all right all this okay can you repeat the second all whole ball wool tall okay tall all all, all ball ball tall okay and it will become like this it will become like this how let's see it will become all ball okay ball is Sorry, it's cold. Okay, wall. It will become wall. Tall. Okay. जब हम pronunciation करेंगे तब इसका जो है तो इस तरीके से use होगा. Okay, remember this. You have to underline this. You have to underline this. This option. Okay. The third point is there. okay for example water okay was war awesome okay awful what okay so this is what it will become awesome so water so a coming with w so it will become what O, A coming with W. So let's see. Let's underline this. Okay. A coming with W. It will become was. A coming with W. It will become war. A coming with A W. It will become awesome. Okay. Awful. Awful will be what? Awful. Awful. Okay. Awful. A coming with, uh, what is the pronunciation of? Do we say what? what? It's what? What? L will be silent here, and A coming with W. Okay, it is A silent. So okay. it is what? It is what? Okay, because A coming with W. Understood? Yes. Yeah. So how will it will become? Let's see. So it will become. water was war awesome awful okay and what okay what so this is the pronunciation of a okay this is the pronunciation of a so let's see another example okay let's see another example for example law lawyer okay laundry laundry lawn okay so this is what a coming with w or l also so it will be what it will be law okay l coming with w lawyer laundry law l coming with a coming with l a coming with l laundry okay understood but there is exception okay rules are meant to be 
broken so exception bhi hai wahan pe for example for example land we say we cannot say l o n d okay we say only land okay it will not become o lamp lamp okay so this is what exception is also there etc etc so any doubt with this till now no sir are you clearly understood yes very good what do you have understood tell me pronunciation and yeah pronunciation rule a rule is there simple rule is there what is that whenever a come with l double l and w sound will be sound will be o for example also all right already all whole coal wool toll okay water was war awesome awful what law lawyer laundry lawn but but there is exception for example land because rules are made to be broken every rule has to be broken uh, broken in english okay remember that the first rule of english is that okay so land lamp this these are the exception matlab ye rules mein nahi baithenge understood simple so can you repeat this sound from from also to lawn repeat the sound also all right always all whole call wall toll very good water was war concept call what law lawyer laundry lawn excellent excellent so this is the very basic rule that you have to understood and you have to practice daily basis okay okay yeah so we've done the sound we have done this uh, we have done the a rule okay now we'll see now we'll see the articles okay so we we have done two articles which is a or which is a or n right now we'll see the next articles which is definite articles which is definite articles known as the articles okay let's see how we'll use the articles so we will take a 2 minutes break and we'll back within 2 minutes okay okay so we are going to start articles which is known as definite articles okay definite articles so we'll see first the okay there is only one uh, definite articles that is the okay so let's see when when to use the okay when to use the so the yes means ye cases mein use karna hai so the the ko use karenge hum log the ko use karenge when something introduced earlier is prefer again agar koi cheez pehle se introduce kar chuki hai fir se humko introduce karna hai to hum log the ka use karenge kaise for example let's see let's see they serve they serve a piece of cake okay piece of cake they serve the piece of cake and some and some sandwich sandwiches okay they they serve some piece of cake and some sandwiches so ab then the sand sandwiches were good the sandwiches were good but the 
cake wasn't okay cake wasn't so what happened in this examples so the they serve a piece of cake and sandwiches so sandwiches here in the first sentence they have introduced sandwiches in the second sentence the sandwiches were good but the they send they are referring again sandwiches who first say sandwiches ko refer kar rahe to usse pehle hum log da ka istemal kar rahe understood understood yes sir but the cake wasn't and फिर से अगर किसी किसी को इंट्रोड्यूस कर चुके ओके इफ यू हैव इंट्रोड्यूस एंड इफ यू वांट टू रेफर अगेन इट देन यू हैव टू यूज लेट्स सी हाउ द इज यूज लेट्स सी द डेफिनेशन द इज यूज यूज्ड व्हेन समथिंग व्हेन समथिंग इंट्रोड्यूस introduced introduced already introduced okay earlier is refer is referred to again if you want to refer it again okay so you can use so this is the examples okay examples they serve a piece of cake and some sandwiches and the sandwiches were good but cake wasn't so can you give me example like that can you give me example like that sir this has no example Uh, you okay aapko samajh mein nahi aaya see no the is used when something introduced earlier is referred to again koi bhi sentence ke andar kya hoga koi cheez ko introduce kar chuke hai ye pehle sentence mein kya bol raha hai dekho do sentences hai hamare paas pehle sentence mein kya bol raha hai they serve a piece of cake piece of cake and the sandwiches okay लेकिन दूसरे सेंटेंस में फिर से सैंडविचेस को और केक को रेफर कर रहा है यहाँ पे लेकिन उससे पहले द का यूज कर रहा है द सैंडविच इज वेरी गुड बट द केक वॉजेंट ओके इट मीन्स वॉट इट इट मीन सिंपल के फिर से अगर कोई चीज रेफर करना है तो उसके लिए हम लोग द का इस्तेमाल करेंगे द का प्रयोग करेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट सी वी हैव वी हैव eaten mangoes and we have eaten mangoes and apples but the apple was but the apple was good okay but the apple was good but but the mangoes wasn't okay so the mangoes so here what happening pehle sentences mein pehle jumle ke andar usne सैंडविचेस और एप्पल्स और ऑरेंज को इंट्रोड्यूस किया देन सेकंड सेंटेंसेस के अंदर फिर से रेफर कर रहा है अगर कोई भी चीज को अगर रेफर करना हो आपको फिर से सो लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल वी हैव सीन हॉरर मूवी ओके इन द we have seen horror movie okay the movie was extremely terrible okay so terrible movie or film horror film okay and the film before that the film was seen we have seen horror films okay the film was extremely terrible the film so 
यहाँ पे फिल्म पहले से पहले जुमले में बोल दिया ठीक है यहाँ पे यूज हो चुका बट वो फिर से रेफर करना चाह रहा है फिर से रेफर किया तो यहाँ पे क्या यूज किया द का इस्तेमाल किया समझ में आया ओके नेक्स्ट लेट्स सी द सेकंड एग्जांपल ओके द इज यूज व्हेन इट इज क्लियर व्हेन व्हेन थिंग्स और पर्सन वी मींस पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स के लिए व्हेन इफ इट इज क्लियर सो एट द टाइम वी यूज द फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम गोइंग टू क्लीन माय कार Okay, I'm going to clean my car tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to clean my car tomorrow. So here is he is clear that I'm going to clean my car. I'm going to clean the car. Okay, the car. Okay, so it means what? If you are using this, it means what a particular car. It means my car. Okay, so you are clear about it. Okay, so in this case you are clear about it. So you can use if you are clear about or particular things you you are know about. You know, उसके बारे में पता है और तुम clear हो उस चीज़ के बारे में. तो उसके लिए क्या use करेंगे हम लोग वहाँ पे दा use करेंगे दा का इस्तेमाल करेंगे. ठीक है? मैं डेफिनेशन द इज यूज ओके यूज टू यूज वेन इट इज क्लियर विच थिंग्स विच थिंग्स और पर्सन पर्सन we mean okay which things or it might be things it might be a person things we what you are doing you are typing or you are writing anything writing okay you are writing okay. of particular particular things with a particular things okay or even even if it is not mentioned before okay if it is not mentioned before pehle se mention ho ya na ho lekin aapko pata hai us cheez ke bare mein to usse pehle hum log da ka use karenge okay for example i'm going to clean my car i'm going to clean my car for example for example where is Where is the cat? So it means your cat. You know about it, okay? It means our cat. It means our cat. So we we are know about it, okay? For example, the telephone. Telephone is ringing, okay? For example, telephone is ringing. So here is what. this telephone means our our telephone or this telephone means you know about it okay you know about it this step understood for example the moon looks the moon looks beautiful okay the moon looks beautiful tonight understood so we know particular things about moon is a particular thing okay so we know about it for example what's the date what's what's the date so you know what's the date so understood this yes sir very simple So this is what this is the rule of a uh, the when to use the okay so so 
so when when to pronounce the or the let's see okay so when when we use the okay sometimes we call the also okay with long e the okay the and the okay the long with the long sound okay so so let's see uh, you can say note it down tum note kar sakte ho us cheez ko ki da kab bolna hai aur di kab bolna hai theek hai okay. so we or you say you say the with the long with the long sound with the long d okay with the long d when 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 it comes when it comes when it comes before before a word beginning before a word beginning with vowel sound vowel okay beginning with the vowel if it is beginning with the vowel vowels okay so you can say d for example d for example d exit okay i'm writing like this for example d exit the umbrella okay the umbrella for example the for example the orange can you give me example like that which words start with the vowel orange the orange okay the ink sorry ink ink eggs okay okay the eggs eggs okay so this is the example understood okay but some vowels have uh, we have seen but the some vowels have consonant sound at the beginning such as but some vowels have for example for example the univer the university okay so we cannot use this the okay we use uh, we say only the the university we do not say the university but here we can say the exit the umbrella the orange the the eggs the apple okay okay the hour the before the vowels if words begin with the vowels but but some uh, vowels have consonant sound at the beginning some vowels have let's see some vowels vowels have consonant sound sound at the beginning okay at the beginning at the beginning okay for example such as the university the uniform 
down. The one, the one, the European. European. Okay, so this is what we uh, only use. We can um, we can say here only the. We cannot say the. Okay, because it's okay. begin though it is beginning of the vowel, but the sound is like a consonant. Understood? Sound जो रहेगा वो consonant है. इसीलिए जो है तो यहाँ पे इस तरीके से हो रहा है. ठीक है? So ये हमारे दो पॉइंट्स ओनली अभी यहाँ से बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स हैं दा को किस तरीके से यूज करना है किस तरीके से यूज नहीं करना है ओके दा का इस्तेमाल बट दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज व्हाट ओके okay uh, so now we'll uh, we were done, uh, done uh, for the for the day okay so okay. so enough for the day we'll continue it tomorrow okay at the same time okay okay till now bye bye take care okay love this